the nation had gathered together. And while gathered together, while on this same road, heading up to Jerusalem, Christ is spotted by the crowds. And as spotted by the crowds, they respond in immediate praise and adoration. They respond again, Hosanna. Hosanna is a Hebrew expression meaning save now. It has the idea, save salvation to the son of David, salvation from the highest. Blessed is the name. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. They're calling out for salvation and deliverance. They're giving praise and honor. They recognize who Jesus is. They recognize he is the one who's bringing deliverance. They're giving him, again, great honor. In fact, again, Matthew records for us the honor that Jesus receives. Not only is he receiving the praise from their lips, but they are also then making the roads uh, straight for him. They're preparing the roads. It says that they laid their coats down in the road. Uh, They were taking off their outer garments and laying them down so that Jesus would walk across these coats and not get dirty. They were cutting branches and evening out the roads. They were basically showing Christ the honor of a great dignitary. Whenever a king would enter into town, the town would work at making sure all the roads were well maintenanced. This is exactly what was taking place here. They were making sure that there was nothing in Jesus' way that would cause him to either get dirty or be harmed in any way. They were showing him great honor. Again, this is to the point of this is the high point of Jesus' ministry. Honor as he's heading into Jerusalem Praise as the people are spotting him and calling out and recognizing that he is the one who is bringing salvation and deliverance. He was the prophet who came. He is the prophet who came as the obedient son who fulfilled all of his father's command. He is the prophet who came as the Lamb of God. He is the prophet who came fulfilling prophecies made well over 400 years before this event. He is the prophet who came receiving honor and praise due a king. He is the prophet who came in humility, riding on a donkey, even the colt. He came bringing salvation, and he came with great recognition. Notice how verse 10 and 11 concludes that when he had entered into Jerusalem, all the city was stirred saying, who is this? The idea stirred there. Everyone was in a buzz. There was an electricity in the air. There was clamor. There was excitement. There was discussion, dialogue. Everyone was sharing the details. They were talking, and in particularly, they were asking the question, who is this? Who is the one who is receiving all this honor? Who is this one riding in on these donkeys? Who is the one that these people are laying out their coats for? Who is this? And notice their response. This is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee. Now at one point, you could say, that's absolutely right. But it also falls infinitely short of what Matthew has just declared from the prophecies. What they ought to have said at this moment is this is the king we have been waiting for. They recognized Jesus as a great teacher. They recognized him as having great authority in regards to his ability to teach, and they recognized him as a great man, but they did not recognize him at this very moment as what he was, a humble king who had come. At this moment, In time, friends, I believe that verses 10 and 11 is where the dark storm clouds begin to form. The rejection of Christ starts to become evident. That the people begin to distance themselves from recognizing Christ for who he truly was. Prophecy had declared not that your prophet will come riding on a donkey, Not that a great moral teacher would come riding on a donkey, but your king will come riding on the donkey. Come, and he will come in humility and justice. 
And when asked, who is this? Their response was, this is just a prophet. A mighty man of God, yes. A great teacher of Israel, yes. But the king of Israel, they have not yet seen. 